The first beginner mistake in the graph editor I've noticed recently was one student would select multiple keyframes and then zoom in to a single tangent handle and then left click the tangent handle to adjust it. And it would appear that their work was done right and everything until they zoomed out and they realized they have actually adjusted all the tangent handles because if you have multiple keys selected, you're going to affect all of those tangent handles if you are using left mouse button. So if you use middle mouse button instead, you will realize that you're not adjusting things the way you want to because even if we select the tangent handle with middle mouse button, it's not gonna it's not gonna adjust the tangent handle. So we know something is off. We know that we don't have the right thing selected if we're using middle mouse button. So use middle mouse button to know if I use it, it's not adjusting the tangent handle even if I'm selecting the tangent handle with middle mouse button. So it clues me in that something is wrong. I have the wrong thing selected. So when I do have the right thing selected and I go and individually select a single tangent handle and then I use middle mouse button, now it's behaving as I would expect. And if I zoom out, I know I haven't selected something else because I had to individually select that thing for middle mouse button to work in that way. And I don't have to select the tangent handle itself with middle mouse button. I don't actually have to hover my mouse over it. I can have the mouse over here and use middle mouse button. So it's just a quicker way to work and identify the issue before you get to it. And it's quicker because you don't have to individually select the tangent handle. All right, number two issue is if you are trying to set a new keyframe for whatever reason, and I hit S here, it's going to affect the curve. Now, it has totally messed up the curve that I had, and you can actually see that occur if you turn on View, Show Buffer Curves, and we click this little button here that's going to create buffer curve snapshot. So when I hit S, beneath it, I can see where my old curve used to be, right? So how do we insert a keyframe without affecting the curve in the graph editor? I'm gonna delete this and get back to the curve I had. I'm gonna hold down I for insert. Remember I for insert. Now I'm gonna middle mouse click on the curve I have selected. That will insert a keyframe and maintain the neighboring curve shape around it. Those are the two beginner mistakes I see people make. If you wanna learn about another beginner mistake, check out the video here. And if you want the rig that you see in this video here in Maya, you can get it from attending the webinar I have at animatorsjourney.com. So you can do your own beginner animation exercises with this free rig. Thanks for watching.